there certainly can be found true beauty in the ordinary. Everyone knows that if you slow down and observe the ordinary, one can come to appreciate its beautiful complexity. Too many things of beauty are taken for granted because we see them only for what their purpose in life is, not what they're made of or what their potential is, but what they can do for us at the moment. When a person does take time to notice the ordinary for its beauty and perhaps potential, then takes the object and manipulates it to accentuate its beauty so more can appreciate it, are called artists. In our travels at Michigan Magazine, we revel in our meetings with these people who seem to radiate a positive energy of imagination and optimism. For instance, take this ordinary soda can. Sure, it does possess a certain beauty of its own instilled by a creative advertising agency, but look deeper into its potential. After serving its intended usefulness, what do you see? A pretty empty can, perhaps. But let artist Victoria Spleet Lens of Tecumseh, Michigan, gaze at its emptiness and see where she takes it. It's amazing. A snip here, a bend here, and add a secret molding process there, and you have an original line of jewelry called Fashion Counts by Victoria. It's turning into a part-time business that seems to be catching on in popularity from the fashion-conscious as well as the ecology-minded individual. Victoria works full-time as a paraprofessional in the Washtenaw Intermediate School District and volunteers at a school for developmentally disabled adults and is now finding more of her free time devoted to the world of art and now marketing of her new artistic venture, turning soda cans, juice bottles, and water bottles into an irresistible line of jewelry. Now this is something that must have been on your mind for a while before you plunged into it. Yeah. How did this come about? Well, actually I wanted to make some uh, jewelry out of stained glass. That's how I wanted oh, to get okay. started. And we were actually on our way to Jackson where there was this company that was real big into stained glass and they were closed. And on the way there, and I saw my uh, water bottle and the sun was just glistening and it was oh. sparkling. It was so pretty and I thought it was so much lighter and yet it has color that I could possibly think of a way to incorporate that into a piece of jewelry. And how did that come about? What's the progress that you did, a uh, process that you, you followed from bottle to jewelry? Well, I didn't want to uh, say what I did with the pop bottles because that's kind of like a, a secret. Mm -hmm. right. But um, the cans and stuff, I, what I do is I have like my family in Alpena right now is cutting the tops and the bottoms off. Uh -huh. And then I cut them into strips. For the earrings, they have to be a straight cut and, and little strips, which I have some done right here, this is an earring that I'm in the middle of doing right now. Oh my goodness, so these are all aluminum, is it? Or? Yep, yep, and I put some beads to add color to it, you know, the light blue, and I love the lime green kind of color. Now, if you looked at that at a distance, or even a close up, you really can't tell what type of material. You just know that yep. it's pretty, it glistens, but uh, <laughs> this is a really kind of a unique situation we've got here. Now, uh, this is a, a really a neat, recyclable way to do these things. Hmm. Yeah, I got a lot of compliments on them. People buy them off me when I'm, you know, shopping and stuff, so mm -hmm. it's kind of cool. But these cans, they have to be cut into, you know, straight strips. Yeah. It's a lot of work, but it's, it's... a lot of work, but what you come up with is something that it really stands on its own as far as art and, and jewelry is concerned. It's kind of cool, yeah. Yeah, it is. Now, how many different types of material do you use besides is it just the cans and the Actually, bottles or what? Pop cans and uh, plastic pop bottles. Mm -hmm. um, this one here is a different type of uh, the blue. Um, yeah, that one there is from a moon mist bottle. Okay. And I use, the, I think it's a Nest Tea uh, drink can. So uh -huh. they're all, I found out that um, my the bottles and cans that I use, I don't get it for the flavors because I have to get it for the color, <laughs> which my kids are not happy with. <laughs> so you go with the color, the, the most attractive oh, yeah. color. What do you look for in a bottle when you look at something like that as far as a possibility of jewelry? Um, the colors, that, and I think of some beads that would look good with it and, and certain outfits and, and stuff. So, mm -hmm. Like this stuff right here, um, this is all out of the same can, but you can just add different colors of beads to accent it, like the lime colored beads accents the, you know, the touch of the lime in the can. Mm -hmm. This one here is, um, like I say, from the Diet Sprite, mm -hmm. and I just added some clear, you know, aquamarine beads and stuff. So. so you're looking at pop cans in a different way. Oh, I mean, yeah. You rarely do they get back to the, the 10 cent recyclable situation with you. I mean, you probably have uh, quite a collection in your garage or yes, somewhere around yes. this area. <laughs> yeah, in fact, a lot of my, my a lot of my cans are in Alpena right now for my family. They're cutting the tops off for me. Saves mm -hmm. me time. 
Mm -hmm. And my husband, he does all the cards. He makes all these. So this is pretty much a, a, a home-based operation then, right? Oh, yeah. I mean, oh, this is a very special big item. Mm -hmm. Let's go over some of the items you got up here. Can you tell us a little bit about some of the, the highlights of uh, what kind of pop or okay, cans or whatever? Okay, this here, here is um, a Futopia. I think it's lemonade, mm. this one right here. These are made from uh, the um, health food drinks. They're called spritzers. Okay. You know, from the health food store. I saw those, and I had to have those. Actually, these are too. This is made from an Arizona iced tea. I forget the flavors because I never get for the flavors. Um, let's see, uh, Diet Coke. This is, I actually got these back from one of my girlfriends at work because she ordered these special and that's what I want to start getting into is, this is a Diet Coke can. Really? Yeah, isn't that beautiful? It is. I mean, she said I want clear and I want silvers and so I incorporated what I, you know, so glitzy you could wear them. When you first you came up with kind of with a prototype or an experimental type thing. Or a lot of experimenting. Of, yeah. Tons. Uh, where did you go with it from there? I mean, you know that you had a line here. You just come up with a sample line. Did you do craft shows, art yes, shows? Started, How did you do this? Uh, I, I entered uh, the Artisan Market in uh, Ann Arbor, mm -hmm. started going there, and people were really receptive to it. They just really they couldn't believe it. The problem I was having was that they don't look like they're made out of pop cans and pop bottles. Right. So. We just done, we just redid all these uh, cards over with the pop bottles saying soda and uh -huh. cans on it so that people, so I will go to that. And then at the bottom it says it's handcrafted using recycled balloon cans and juice cans. So then we thought, we'll go up here, you know, but people, they didn't go, their eyes don't go up to the top when they're, it's sitting on a table and everything, right. but uh, they just go to the pretty colors and, you know, and then I have to tell them that it's made out of, you know, pop cans and pop bottles, and then they really get excited. Mm -hmm. So. Well, what do you plan on taking this from here? I mean, you've got a marketing plan, do you, or how well, are you going to be? I just started. Mm -hmm. How long so, have you been into it now? Um, about a year. I just started right. doing it, but I work full time, yeah. so that's right. Uh, and commute almost an hour. That's kind of mm -hmm. like hard. But um, my, what I'd like to do is to get a, a sales representative. That's mm -hmm. what I've gotten some information. I'm going to check that out. I'm going to um, send it to uh, some movie stars. I got all the or the celebrities. I've got a whole list off the internet of who are into Enjoy. the environment and everything. Yeah, right. And I'm trying to get into retail stores right now. I have retail prices um, on the internet, and then um, we have wholesale prices for the stores. So I'm trying to promote myself. This is like my first time. Oh, well, you first got into it as more or less kind of a. Hobby. A hobby type situation, it was, but yeah. it was uh, taking by surprise what you had to get into as far as marketing this, uh, oh. the, the detail and the, yeah, the complexity. Yeah, especially for me because uh -huh. uh, yeah, it's scary for me uh -huh. to talk to people and stuff. That's why I want a sales representative. Yeah. You do the brooches and you do the, the earrings. Uh, any other, independence. Uh, independence. Mm -hmm. uh, any other uh, possibilities? Uh, that I've you got other ideas that I'm mm -hmm. going to incorporate later. I'm just going to try to introduce like this kind of uh, line and then you mm -hmm. know, see how that goes. Mm -hmm. so. Well, this would be your supply is probably limitless with the cans and the, the bottles out I there. I know it. Like I say, you can make so many different things out of one can. I like the, um, I used a different color bead here, which I just started doing. I have a few of them out here mm -hmm. um, with color. I wanted to have all crystal and then go into colors with the pop cans and such. But Right. Uh, I so. see that. But you, you can change the mood and the whole situation with the same design and get yes, a completely different absolutely. look. Absolutely. Yeah, neat. Now, this here is the Pepsi can. That's a Pepsi can. Yeah, Pepsi, Pepsi. Okay. All right. Well, how about this one? Uh, that one is this one. Uh, the Shasta. Um, okay. Grape. Yeah. I know. <laughs> a rainbow of flavors. Yeah. Uh, is your, and they're, what I like about them, too, is that they're really lightweight. Oh, they're, they're totally Extremely. light. And people who pick them up, even when they're looking at them, they, you know, cannot believe how light they are. Mm -hmm. That's my favorite. That's my favorite color scheme. Yeah, quite a line here. Now, what do you hope to take it eventually? I mean, do you hope to maybe do this full time or is that just... I want uh, to go um, part time eventually where I mm -hmm. work at because I'll always have to... Um, right. I want to be with my students. They're the most right. wonderful. I notice that you've got a very fulfilling career as it I is. I mean, yes, the I situation you've got. School for handicapped mm -hmm. uh, students. That is an incredible occupation there, but uh, uh, there's another side light to... Victoria here. You must love what you're doing though. I love it. What, what's so fulfilling about it do you think? I, I love colors. I love um, it, putting things together and seeing a creation, something that's beautiful afterwards. Taking something that's nothing that you, you know, and, and mm -hmm. creating something that's a piece of a joy. whole new beauty. I mean taking something like, like this and then creating something like where you've got not quite the same color, but you right. know the, the whole idea is that uh, nothing ever dies if it's if no. it's got its own beauty. No, we recycle everything, so mm -hmm. like I say, that's why all this is messy. But I don't throw anything away. Uh -huh. <laughs> I can redo something. Yes. 
Oh, well, Vicki, it's been a pleasure to come down here to find out the creations you got here. We're going to have perhaps more objects of beauty swimming around in your oh, head yeah. when it comes and out in the ideas. future. Yeah, well, we'll see you probably on the art shows and craft oh, shows yes, throughout definitely. the state of Michigan. Wish you the best of luck, and thanks for appearing in Michigan <laughs> Thank Magazine. Thank you. For more